so far three distributions that often arise in applications have been introduced and those distributions are the uniform distribution, the exponential distribution, and the gamma distribution. This is a fourth distribution and this fourth distribution might very well be the best known of all the distribution. It is known as the normal distribution. The normal distribution covers cases where you have what is known as a bell-shaped distribution. It was named normal which makes you wonder if the people that named it thought that things that followed this bell-shaped distribution were considered normal and things that didn't were considered abnormal but that's not the case anymore. There are plenty of distributions that occur out there in practice. Here are a couple of places where a probability density function that has that bell shape may show up. The cholesterol levels of 50 year old men, quite possible. The adult heights of women, the weights of newborn babies, crop yields, and ball bearing diameters. All of these distributions or all of these random variables I should say are going to have a bell shaped probability density function or something fairly close to it. So here is a potential bell-shaped probability density function. If you recall the exponential distribution had a probability density function f of x is equal to e to the minus lambda x. So one thing that might be worth trying is putting an x squared up here and uh, you'll see the reason a little bit later for dividing by 2 but basically it's e to the minus x squared um, as a potential probability density function. The star here is just a reminder that this may not work out and in fact it won't. It needs a uh, constant out front but uh, the support here will go from minus infinity to infinity and that's why the axis was drawn in in this fashion. So here are three things about this potential probability density function. First of all f star of x is an even function and because it's an even function we know this will be symmetric about x equals zero. Second thing like all probability density functions it has to be positive e raised to any power is a positive number so we have that. And third this is bell shaped but the only concern here is does this probability density function integrate to 1. So the question is, is the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f star of x, our potential probability density function dx, equal to 1. So if I set that equal to the constant a, this turns out to be a very unpleasant integral to uh, calculate, but strangely enough you can calculate a squared and you can do it in the following fashion. You can treat a squared as a, and here is the definition of a, notice the integration is with respect to x, and here is another a, and notice here the integration is with respect to y. These can be combined into a double integral, and again you have like base, add exponents, dx dy. Now at this point you can use the regular substitution for polar coordinates, I'll put it off to the side here, x is equal to r times the cosine of theta, y is equal to r times the sine of theta, and of course when you make that substitution the dx dy will become r dr d theta. So there is the substitution that leads you from here to here. Now notice that the limits instead of going from negative infinity to infinity on both x and y, now the limits on the radius r go from 0 to infinity and the angle theta go from 0 to 2 pi, but the integrand looks a little bit nicer now and in fact except for a negative this is of the form e to the u du and so that integrates nicely and when you plug in infinity here of course you get e to the minus infinity power that's zero when you plug in zero you get a one so this just becomes one d theta and uh, that integral is just theta evaluated from zero to two pi and that gives you two pi so if a squared is equal to two pi 
then we know the area underneath our f star, our potential probability density function is the square root of 2 pi, which means all we have to do is put a scaling factor out front of 1 over the square root of 2 pi and we now don't need the star anymore. This is a legitimate probability density function and in fact you can draw a picture of this thing. Here is 0, that's where it is centered and it will have that kind of classic bell shape that goes along with the normal distribution. Support is from negative infinity to infinity. Nice compact form. Got the bell shape. It integrates to 1. It's the complete package. But there's a problem here and the problem here is a lot of the things that were mentioned on the previous page are not centered about 0. If you go back and you look at them cholesterol levels aren't around 0. Heights aren't around um, 0. These weights None of these are around zero. So there is a substitution that you can do. You can make the substitution y equals x minus mu over sigma in this particular integral. Remember we have the standard normal, that's what that one is called, standard normal probability density function. We know it integrates to one. If we make this substitution, we've added in two new parameters and those two new parameters are mu and sigma. And so when you add those in there and convert back of course to um, x rather than using y, you wind up with this integral right here. More complicated expression but this is also a probability density function but this one has two parameters to it, mu and sigma and that leads to the following definition. A continuous random variable x with probability density function f of x is equal to, and this f of x is simply this integrand right here, between minus infinity and infinity for the support for some real constants mu, and it won't surprise you that mu here is in fact the population mean, which is the expected value of x, and positive parameter sigma, and sigma by choosing that particular symbol is going to be the population standard deviation is a normal mu sigma squared random variable. So this is the shorthand or the abbreviation for a normal random variable and notice the parameters here are mu and sigma squared. Some authors will put a sigma out here but the more common notation is put a mu and a sigma squared as the parameters.